Hey, how you doing? It's Ben, and you're watching The Capizo Show. My name is Luis De Hoyas. I'm director of The Cove, and we're at the Nantucket Film Festival. We brought together a wide collection of, of people to try to infiltrate this cove. The cove, coming to a cove near you. It's just a great movie. It's incredibly um, important, I think. It's also incredibly entertaining. Um, it's uh, got this thriller aspect to it. It feels more like an Ocean's Eleven film than it does a traditional documentary film. No, no, no script went out and found the story, just like they used to do in the old days with National Geographic. If you had a script, the story wouldn't have happened because you wouldn't have found it. I think of filmmaking as like, you know, one of the greatest tools that mankind has come up with to actually invoke change in people. The Cove, the secret's out. It's what they don't want you to know and don't want you to see. It started really when I met Rick O'Berry and decided to go with him to Taiji to, to see what was going on at the Cove. Uh, Rick O'Berry is a legendary uh, character. He's a man who uh, first found fame in the 1960s by training dolphins, and most famously the dolphin called Flipper. And then, having seen what was happening uh, to all of that, he's turned his passion for dolphins into a, a, an activism that is unprecedented. I had been in Taiji, Japan for about five or six years. This is where the largest slaughter of dolphins in the world takes place. It's a form of uh, commercial whaling, which is illegal since 1986, and they get away with it. There's a systematic uh, cover-up from the Japanese press. From my position, I felt like, you know, if I didn't become an activist, or at least active in trying to get into the cove, this atrocity would keep on going on. And the bigger issue being that the meat that is consumed uh, from these dolphins and these whales, small whales, is being served to school children and throughout Japan. And it's highly tainted with, with mercury and other toxins. What might actually save dolphins now is the fact that human beings are making them so toxic that they're inedible. Uh, it's just one of those great tragedies. Nantucket was once a whaling town, but now is doing very well uh, as a tourist town. And Taiji can do that also. And Rick, Rick O'Berry is just uh, an incredible guy who's doing inspiring work that I think everybody should see. It, it, it makes you want to go out and do something about what's going on. But I didn't know about this dolphin uh, issue as before this, and now I will. So it's a pretty good documentary. It, it affects you emotionally. It's, it's, it, it's funny. It's, it's captivating. It's, it's all, you know, you can use all those quotes on the, um, <laughs> on the poster. Ben Stiller says it's captivating. It's not saving the whales, the whales are saving us. That's the tragedy of the cove. <laughs>